Hey guys, it's Valerie. Welcome back to Saturdays on the Explicit 7. Um, sorry I look like a mess. I... Today's just not my day. I have a ring light now. Shout out to Chloe for getting me a ring light for my early birthday present. I'm obsessed. Sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm just making sure that everything's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy. I'm probably gonna have a headache once I'm done filming because it's really bright, but... I love it. So this week's theme is like weird dreams, like us telling you some crazy weird ass dreams and I actually have a dream journal in my notes on my phone um, all the way from March of 2016 to February of 2017. So I don't remember almost all of these. If I do remember them, I will give you more of a backstory because they're kind of short. But yeah, I'm just gonna read these to you because they're fucking weird. And yeah, let's let's go. The first one was March 1st. It says, Kabram, his mom, and I were sitting in a pool talking about going to Mexico. I couldn't go because I wasn't 18. Fast forward to 4th of July, dance festival, and I don't want to say her name. Um, blank made me give her my dress and Kabram walks by and mouths the words fuck you to me. Okay. Kabram is my boyfriend, if you didn't know, so I guess my boyfriend just walked by and said fuck you to me for no reason. <laughs> okay. Um, this was on my birthday, actually, March 11th, 2016. Dad and I were trapped in a building and could not leave. I snuck out the window to get him food. That's all I wrote down. Okay. I actually do kind of remember this dream, though. Um, we were stuck in like, it kind of looked like a rehab center, but we weren't like using drugs or anything like that. I think someone like kidnapped us or something and we were stuck in this building and there was like beds. I remember there was one twin bed, like we had to share a bed and there was a window right above the bed and the window had like bars on the outside of it so that you couldn't get out. But somehow I got out of the window and I snuck into the kitchen and I stole some food for us because they weren't feeding us. Then I think I woke up. It was really weird. I don't know why we were stuck in a building. I don't know how I got out of that window, if it was covered in bars. Who knows, but I'm fucking cool and I did it, so you're welcome, Dad. Um, this was the next day, March 12th, 2016. Dad was forcing me to go to church camp. Julie's mom, I don't know who Julie is, Julie's mom helped me pack. I almost went, then I backed out and refused to go because I didn't have to since I was 18. <laughs> I love how I had that dream the day after my birthday. I haven't gone to church. If you're religious, sorry, but like I haven't gone to church. Is this even focused? I haven't gone to church in a long time. So like me and my dad haven't talked about church camp. I'm not going to any church camp. I don't know of a church camp that's going on. I don't know why I had a dream about a church camp. That's just weird. I have said the words church camp way too many times. This one was on March 21st, 2016. Kabram's mom was my teacher, and we were just talking and laughing together for hours at her desk having a good time. Then there's like little hyphens, and it says, woke up and fell back asleep. Saw Kabram- <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> That's inappropriate. Okay, anyway, I guess my boyfriend's mom was my teacher, and we were having a good time. Cool. Okay, March 22nd, 2016. I was having a lot of dreams in March. I was sitting on a couch, and- Kabram came to me and started, okay, okay, not gonna say that either. <laughs> so then after March, cause I clearly started my dream journal in March, but after March 22nd, I completely forgot about it until earlier this month when I had a really nice, amazing dream. So yeah, I forgot that I was writing down my dreams. And also for some reason lately, I haven't been dreaming. Um, actually, apparently you dream every night. You just don't remember all of them. But I haven't remembered a dream of mine since February 1st. And before that, I don't even remember the last time I remembered a dream. It's been a while. I don't remember my dreams very often anymore. And I don't know why, but yeah. The last one and the most recent one that I remember is from February 1st, and this was two days before the Ariana Dangerous Woman tour. And honestly, it was an amazing dream. I still remember it so 
vividly so perfectly and I wish it was real. <sighs> anyway, it says, I was at an Ariana Grande slash Selena Gomez concert. So basically it was like Ariana and Selena were together, like performing together. Like they had songs together, they were on tour together. It was great. They're my two favorite like solo artists. Like I've loved them since I was a young kid. Um, they asked people to raise their hand if they wanted to come on stage So I of course raised my hand and they called me up by name to the stage Which was so weird because they said if you want to come on stage raise your hand and I rose my hand and they pointed to me And said Valerie. I was like How did you know my name? But it was cool. So yeah, they called me by name which was weird I got to dance and sing with them on stage for the rest of the show and then afterwards I hung out with them backstage we took some funny videos and pictures together and just talked for hours while eating vegan pizza. <laughs> Probably, I'm assuming, because Ariana's vegan. Then I woke up and now my life is ruined. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Because it's not real, so my life is ruined. So yeah, those are the dreams that I've written down since March of last year. Hopefully I remember that I have a dream journal and I keep using it because that's kind of funny. I actually ended up remembering most of them, which was cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it wasn't super great and funny. Um, I can't control my dreams. Um, well, actually, technically you can, but I don't know how to do that, so I can't. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I don't care. Give it a thumbs down if you want. It doesn't affect me. Thanks for the view. But yeah, I love you guys and I will see you next Saturday. Bye!